See, there's, there's this passage in um, 1 John, and I just want to read a few verses from it. Okay, okay, this is the Word of God, reverence. 1 John 3 says this, verse 6. No one who abides in him keeps on sinning. No one who keeps on sinning has either seen him or known him. Little children, let no one deceive you. Whoever practices, whoever practices righteousness is righteous as he is righteous. Whoever makes a practice of sinning is of the devil. For the devil has been sinning from the beginning. The reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy the works of the devil. No one born of God makes a practice of sinning, for God's seed abides in him. And he cannot keep on sinning because he's been born of God. By this it is evident who are the children of God and who are the children of the devil. Whoever does not practice righteousness is not of God, nor is the one who does not love his brother. Wow. And look it up for yourself. I, I, I'm not making this, this is not my opinion. It's not, oh, here's what I think. It's just, just read it. What does it say? It says, if, if you're an ongoing sin, you can just stay in your sin. And he goes, you, you haven't seen him yet. You don't get it. You don't get him. You don't know him. Oh, but I remember that one time I said, and I, I went forward, I even got back. It doesn't matter. He says, little children, don't let anyone deceive you. The one who practices. Be, you know why? Because he says, the person who has God's seed abide inside of him he can't keep sinning. See, something happened inside of me where when God's Holy Spirit entered me, this was not a sermon where someone talked me into making a decision. It was like something between me and God where it's like, I need you, I want you, I want you in my life. And then he enters into you. And now it's this process in life where the things that you used to love and the, the sin that you could walk freely in, suddenly it's like, I, I can't do that anymore. For some reason, it's still attractive to me, but every once, once I start heading that direction, it's like, ah, I can't do it. Why? Because my DNA changed. Something inside of me, Jesus is in me now. And, and that's when, when it, you know, we want to talk generosity. What he says just a few verses later he, in verse 16, he says, by this we know love. He laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers. If anyone has the world's goods and sees his brother in need, yet closes his heart against him, how does God's love abide in him? See what he's saying? He's saying, look, God's seed dwells in you. That means Jesus is inside of me. And so all these Jesus characteristics keep coming out. It's, it's, it's his seed, his DNA is in me. And that's why he's saying, so if he's in you, you're saying he's in you, yet you walk by your brothers who are in need and you know you could help, but you just, you feel nothing. You do nothing. You just keep walking. He's like, really? How could the love of God abide in you? That should be a sign to you that you're like, wow, you're just staring at yourself still. Maybe you didn't see this. And maybe he never entered into you because you sure are a lot about yourself all the time. <laughs> 